But for this one, there is something very, very important about division that you guys need to understand. So hopefully if you guys kind of follow what we learned so far, you could say, all right, well, that just means f of x divided by g of x, right? Pretty basic. So now let's just put in what my f of x is, 2x over negative 4x plus 5. And then you say, all right, well, now what, right? Can we simplify this any further, do something? And our answer is we're not going to be able to simplify this case. We're going to learn some examples when we can simplify it. But this is about as simplified as we can go. We can't split this up or do anything crazy like that. This is going to be as simplified as we're going to get. However, we need to make sure we check something. Whenever we have a function that is a rational function, we need to remember this case. Do you guys remember um, when I had the negative square root of x? Is this going to provide a real number? No. 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 So what do we do with negative numbers? What? We'll get, I'll get to explain. We'll go there. But yeah, you took out the negative, right? So square root of x i. And we said i was imaginary, right? Because you could not take the square root of a negative number, right? OK, so I'll kind of preface that. So now, so one thing we know about is we, even had, we had to create a whole new set of numbers because we knew we cannot take the square root of a negative number. Now, what about this? Here's another kind of no-no we look at. If I say 1 divided by x, what can x not be? Well, if x was 1, then we'd have 1 divided by 1, which is 1. But I heard it, though. 0, right? You can't divide into 0, right? Because, um, well, that's a whole different video that I already have. But 0 is, is reverse multiplication, right? So if you multiply 0 times something to get 1, that's impossible because 0 times anything is always 0. So you can't divide by 0. So what we need to do is say, when we look at this function and say, all right, 2x divided by negative 4x plus 5, what values are going to make my denominator 0? I don't know. What you need to do is take negative 4x plus 5 and set it equal to 0. Because if I can say, if this, whatever makes this equal to 0, cannot be on my denominator, right? x can be all numbers except whatever number is going to make my denominator equal to 0. So then what I do is I solve for x. So therefore, I, what I'm going to do is write a constraint. x cannot equal 5 over 4. So the division part's easy, right? You can't simplify it here, but you need to make sure you understand you put in the constraint. If you're going to divide them, write in the string, x cannot equal 5 divided by 4. Cannot. So why did you do that? Because let's take a look at it. What if, five, what if x does equal 5 over 4, right? What if it does? What happens? 5 over 4 times negative 4 is going to leave you with a negative 5. Negative 5 plus 5 is 0. So when x equals, negative, when x equals 5 over 4, that makes my denominator 0 which it cannot be 0, right? Because we just said we can't divide by 0. Does that kind of make a little sense? OK, so what we'll do now is let's switch it around and see what happens.